Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my sister's nails and uh, she comes over every two weeks and I'm going to just be trying to show you on how you can do your nails from home and I will link most of the products down below. You can just get them all from Amazon and a lot of them, so not all of them, but if I can find where the other products are, um, where I buy them, I will link them as well below. Uh, so I will try to use everything that is available that you don't have to have a license to go purchase. And here's my sister, Tracy. Hi. And she's actually a nail tech, but <laughs> we she comes here and we have a great time. We enjoy each, each other's company. And uh, so I do her nails. So I will begin and we will fast forward a lot of this. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that you can do your nails from home. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell. Thank you. Okay, this is where I do my filming and my nails. And I made that uh, sign on my door on my Cricut that I own. I can do videos on that as well. Um, this is a Murphy nail table that my husband made. It's absolutely gorgeous. He does great work. I am going to convince him at some point to make a video uh, for YouTube on what he does. That is Mr. Kane, our adopted dog. Such a sweetheart. And this is his sister, Zoila, that beats him up all the time, but they do love each other. These are all my nail swatches. You can buy the nail swatch sticks on Amazon. And I will have everything I uh, am putting on here linked below. Here I'm going in with a 80 grit nail file. Uh, this just takes off the top layer because she already has gel nail polish on. Uh, so I just take off the top layer, which would basically be just the top coat. Don't go too deep. You don't want to ruin your nail bed. Here I'm just soaking her nails in pure acetone. And you can get those bowls on Amazon as well. You just fill up the bottom with warm, very warm water. It seems like the warm water kind of activates the acetone to work more quickly. Here I'm just putting pure acetone on a lint-free um, wipe and I'm putting on these silicone nail covers that you can also get on Amazon. Um, and this is, I'm just giving you different options of how you can remove your gel polish. So if you prefer to wear the caps, that's fine, or soap. Uh, my sister chose OPI, Lincoln in the Dark Nail Polish. And here are the DND uh, base coat and top coat. And this is the tool I use to remove the gel polish. It works awesome. On the first try, uh, all of it didn't come off, so we are just putting everything back on and she's going to re soak her nails in the acetone. Okay, so they came off pretty good that second round, and I'm taking off the top, which is great because now it has turned into a nail soak. I believe doing a manicure before you you tr even try to do your own nails. When I first started doing my nails, I didn't do a manicure, and it just does not come out as clean. Um, this, If you do a manicure, it makes it so much easier. So now I'm going in with a, a cuticle uh, softener, and this helps the process as well. And you just push your cuticles back, remove any of the fun stuff that comes uh, <laughs> from doing that.
and she's just going back in and soaking off all of the cuticle softener. I'm using a brush to remove any excess and now we're just drying off the hand. Now I'm going in with the 100 grit um, vial and I'm just shaping her nail. And now I'm using just a buffing. Um, this just takes any of the gel that hasn't come off at this point, uh, just cleans it, makes everything smooth. If you have any ridges, it helps with that. Uh, those are nail clip or cuticle clippers. And I just remove any skin that is um, left behind. Going in with the alcohol. And you want to de dehydrate the nails, so uh, they suggest that you do use, you know, as high of a percentage of, of alcohol that you can purchase in these times. And now I'm going in with the Gelish pH um, dehydrator. And this is a bonding agent. This is wonderful. Um, I started using this and it seems to have all of our gel polish last much longer. I also do my own nails as well. It took some time to do with the left hand, but after a lot of practice, it is doable. Now I'm going in with the base coat from DND. You wanna do a thin layer. You don't wanna go in real thick layers because um, it, yeah, it just does not work as well. So think thin layers and also make sure uh, to get the caps of those fingernails. Now she's putting her hand in the light. This has four settings, 90 seconds, 60 second, 30 and 10. She's going in on, I put it on 90 second um, with the first layer. I don't know if any of you ladies have experienced this, but you put your hand under there and it feels very warm and hurts. So the 90 second, it's a, it starts off as a slow uh, or low light and then goes higher. So it's not burning. Now I'm going in with the first coat of the OPI. Again, very thin layers. She puts in, uh, that time I do 60 seconds. So the the top coat is the only one, or the base coat, I'm sorry, is the only one that I go in for the 90 second. The rest I do at 60 seconds. Okay, now we'll be doing the top coat. And this is the DND top coat, no white. So what that means is, I don't know if you remember in the past, uh, what they would put on the top coat and then wipe with the, uh, with the alcohol. Uh, you don't need to do that now. It's eliminated that step. So you just uh, paint it on the nail, set under the light, and it is done. And actually, we found that the uh, no wipe top coat it has a better shine that lasts longer. See, all done. There's my sister Tracy again. Isn't she adorable? Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And I truly hope that you gain some tips and maybe some inspiration to try your nails at home. And if you would 
hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you would hit the like button, I would truly appreciate it. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.